Okay, let me, let me, let me. I lived at the airport for seven months and two months in detention jail in Malaysia. Good evening. Hello again. Good morning. Sabah khair. It was not easy. I thought it's a good thing to have some two or three hours to sleep here where I'm sleeping. But uh, with time, I become more proud of the things I was doing. I was telling my story and my people's story, and the world finally was hearing me. I know how social media is full of uh, uh, pranks, for example, or challenges. It's uh, full about people who are uh, dancing or uh, singing, which is amazing. Unfortunately, uh, I don't know how to do pranks. I don't know how to dance. And I'm a terrible singer. But I know one thing uh, for sure. I know how to write. And uh, just three or four days ago, I received my advanced copy of my book. I, I have a message here uh, to close the gap between the two parts of the world, the East and the West, uh, to humanize us. The same dreams I had as a Syrian teenager uh, Canadian teenager have it. Uh, I always wanted to travel the world. I always wanted to go for an adventure, uh, to have a girlfriend, uh, to live the life. It's the same dreams we always had. And I think uh, people should see that and should read about it. If it changed one mind, uh, it would be enough. If it uh, bring more uh, knowledge to the Syrian crisis, uh, to our lives as Syrians, uh, it will be the best. I just want to tell people uh, what does it mean to be Syrian.